Good morning, everyone. Yesterday we took the speedboat to go from Colipe to Langkawi. Langkawi is an island from Malaysia already, so we just basically crossed one and a half hours and arrived in a different country. And it's not just a different country, it also seems very different, although it's so close. And I was very surprised because it's my first time, it's also Lee's first time here in Malaysia. Therefore, we would like to share with you our first impressions in this video and share a little bit more of the culture and the history of beautiful Malaysia and why this definitely should be on your bucket list. Welcome to Malaysia. We started our first day here with some nice iced coffee and cakes where they have a beautifully conserved blue combi in which I fell in love immediately. It even had some German stickers on it, so showing that it comes from Germany originally. Okay. Today is our first day here in Nankavi and we went to a cafe that is very close by and now we wanted to walk back to our hotel and then we saw all of these rice fields here and the buffaloes so we were very curious what's happening and this is actually a museum it's called Laman Padi and it is free of charge so we're now deciding to go in and to learn a bit more about the agriculture of rice yeah, it's only 10 minutes from the beach and it's very close to the touristic area of Langkawi. So let's figure it out. This open-air living museum is beautifully designed and exhibits traditional ways of cultivating and processing this essential crop to home Malaysia. Of course, we talk about rice. For lunch, we went shortly to the Chenang and Tenga beaches. We enjoyed another nice iced coffee with amazing views, but we decided that it was way too hot to lay on the beach at this time of the day. So we went for some local food. We found this warun not far from our accommodation that serves nasi champur, which is very popular in Malaysia and also in Indonesia. It's basically rice with small portions of several other dishes of your choice, including veggies, eggs, fish or meat. The food was delicious, substantial and the price was really good. Approved by Foka. At night, there was a food market going on right beside the beach, so of course we had to go and try some local specialties. Of course we ordered the biggest one. We had some noodle soup, a lot of freshly made satay chicken squares and later on some shrimp char kuei teu sorry for my pronunciation which are stir fried noodles similar to pad thai so yesterday we bought at the night market a huge box of uh, check fruit I really like them, they have a very soft taste but a very crunchy texture and very strong te texture. So in the vegan cuisine, um, they actually use it, I think more in Europe than here, as a chicken substitute. Um, and you can see why, I mean, look at this texture. And it's, it's very nice. It's, it, I confused it in the beginning with durian because from the outside they look very similar. But the Czech fruit is a lot cheaper than durian. Durian, I think, is like their honey, their most expensive fruit that you can find. 
but check for this pretty cheap. We, bought, uh, we paid like one euro for the whole box and they cut it for you already, so it's very easy to eat. Also the durian, you can smell it, right? Like yeah. two kilometers away. Durian uh, smells very strong. reasons why you should come to Malaysia is definitely the food and we're still trying to figure out what kind of food they have. Now we're tasting some roti chanai which is basically a roti with curry. Rotis are these special pancakes that you can find mostly anywhere here in Southeast Asia. But let's see how this can cur with curry because until now I only tried it in the sweet version with mango or banana. But I'm very curious. Roti chanai is usually freshly made at restaurants specialized in them and eaten as breakfast. This place is famous for their special black pepper rotis, which are quite different from the traditional ones. Of course, we ordered that one and other two varieties of roti chanai. Usually our breakfast is simply a cup of coffee, but since we're in Asia, we have to take advantage of every single meal. Wow. Tastes a lot like pepper. Yes, it reminds me a bit of an enchilada in Mexico. <laughs> it's really nice. Wow. <laughs> no worries. Afterwards, we're gonna go on a diet. Here we have like roti with cheese and egg and they always bring it with this nice curry It's really good I also really like the plain one because like this you really appreciate the flavors of the, just the plain roti and they bring it also with this sauce it, Maybe it's even my favorite because it's very simple I have tried it with uh, mango and banana, chocolate. for example. Hmm? And chocolate? Oh, and chocolate? I was not a big fan. Uh, like mango, hot mango is not like the biggest thing. But having it just like this and eating it salty instead of sweet is changing the game for me. After this amazing breakfast, we drove to the north of the island to an area called Tanjung Ru. The beaches there were insanely white and very long, and they were mostly empty, creating a huge contrast to the Chenang beach. Another reason why Malaysia should be on your travel bucket list is the nature. For example, right now we are here in Langkawi, which is one of the most famous islands of Malaysia, Malaysia. And there's not a lot of people around us. We have seen the island quite empty. and uh, But you have this, the nice beaches and the nice jungle around you like you have in Thailand. But in Thailand, most of the places is overcrowded. And here you still have all of this beautiful nature to yourself. If one of the most popular islands of Malaysia is like this, imagine islands in the north that no one ever heard about. That must be still like a small paradise. We think that most of the tourists they concentrate on the Chenang beach um, that is in the southeastern part, uh, southwestern part of the island, I'm <laughs> sorry. And also they have some tourist attraction like for example the sky bridge and that we feel that are more made for for cruise ships so apparently there are cruise ships coming to Langkawi and then all of the groups go to this main attractions and then they go back but the rest 
of Langkawi is still pretty untouched. We tried our first laksas in a small warung here in the north of the island. Kudos to my friend Ihap who recommended it. The broth was rich and tasteful with a delicious blend of spices. Since we really love noodle soups in general, so definitely we are going to learn how to make them back home. Okay, Lee is gonna learn how to do that. <laughs> Having a great day exploring the north of the island, we came back to our homestay, which was excellent for its price, by the way, and refreshed ourselves in the pool. Later in the evening, we went to Chenam Beach again to enjoy the sunset, lovely temperatures, and this lovely. Mood. In the next episode, we will bring you to the capital city of Kuala Lumpur. Stay tuned and thanks for watching. Bye bye.